Welcome to this tutorial on working with the access control functions from Xprotect Smart Client. This includes how to investigate access control events on the access control tab and how to create an access report. The information from the access control system generates events in the Xprotect system which you can monitor in real time on the live tab or you can view and investigate particular events on the access control tab. On the Live tab, you can set up your views to suit your needs for monitoring. You can use the standard Live Monitoring functions in the view. If you want to review an event, click the event in the list. The Live video automatically pauses and changes to independent playback of the event. This allows you to do a fast investigation, including playback of the video while the rest of the view remains in Live mode. You can click the search icon next to the cardholder name on an event to jump to the Access Control tab and view all events associated with this person. You can continue your investigation on the Access Control tab. To allow for an optimum performance, the list only displays a maximum of 100 rows at a time. Use the arrow buttons in the top right of the list to browse to the next or previous 100 rows. You can change how the list displays data by sorting columns or dragging them to different positions. You can drag the Access Control tab to separate windows while you keep the main window in the background to watch several views simultaneously. You can filter, sort, and review data related to events or doors. When you select an event, the preview on the right lets you view the related video sequence for the event. Related cardholder information appears below the video preview, together with details about the selected event. Above, you can choose to view live video or playback recorded video in a floating window. Doors list the doors in each access control system in their current state. When you select a door, the associated camera shows live video on the right-hand side of the screen. If you have multiple cameras associated with the door, they all appear in the preview. Standard playback options are available from the toolbar. Additional to the independent playback and floating window options, action buttons allow you to perform certain commands related to that door. Available commands depend on your system configuration. Information related to the selected door appears below the live video preview. Click any of the filters at the top of the list to see only data associated with that filter. Any filters you apply are immediately reflected in the list. In the events list, select one of the available time periods to see data for that particular period or use the custom interval to specify a particular time period. If you select Live Update, the list of events is updated instantly when new events occur that meet the filter criterion. In Live Update mode, the list displays maximum 100 events. In this scenario, we prefer Today. You can combine filters, for example, for a particular cardholder at a certain entrance. You can right-click any value in a column and you immediately filter data by that value. Continue until you have the required result. Be sure to remove all filters before you proceed with your work. You can use the search field to, for example, search for a particular cardholder in the events list or to search for a unit name in the doors list. Select one or more of the available event types directly from the list of event categories and uncategorized events, or select between specific access control events. Select one or more of the available sources directly from the list of doors. When you're not in live update mode, the list only displays data from the time you searched or filtered. Click the refresh button to see the latest data. In the doors list, Select one or more of the available doors, access points, and uncategorized types, or select between other access control units to view only states of those selected. Select one or more of the available states directly from the list of state categories and uncategorized states, or select between specific access control states.
In the following scenario, we want to filter on events. When you're not in live update mode, you can export a report of the events list to a PDF file. First, you must apply the necessary filters. In this report, we want to see the list of people that entered the buildings during the last hour. Select Last Hour and Access Granted. Click the Access Report button and fill out the fields in the dialog box. A default report name and report destination that you can change. A list of the applied filters. An optional comment field. An option to include snapshots. The number of events. Click Create and wait for completed in the upper right hand corner. Click Details, then Open, and the PDF opens. You're now ready to send the report to your manager. Thank you for watching this tutorial about investigating access control events in Expertech Smart Client. To watch other milestone video tutorials, click the Help button in the top right corner or go to our website www.milestonesys.com